Hi, I'm Luca Rennie from Prairie Sun Recording. I'm down in Studio C. Uh, we are here to talk about our Hammond D3 and our Hammond RT3 collection. I grew up on Steppenwolf, I grew up on Born to be Wild, I grew up on serious rock organ. And our B3, we've had this particular organ since like 1980, and somewhere around 2010, we had it back in the shop, we had it refinished, we had all the parts which have been heavily modified, taken back to factory stock condition, right? And there was also a modification done to our B3 with a percussion mod, which when you want to grab, you can overdrive a B3 organ through a Leslie and get this incredible grinding, yeah, very emotional kind of vibe. I grew up in the time of Greg Allman. Live at the Fillmore East was the first album I heard while going to college in Gainesville, Florida in 1972. And um, I just went, oh my God, Greg Allman. Have it be, Greg Allman shows up at Prairie Sun to do some overdubs. He spends a couple of days with us. It's late in the evening. He's actually not using this B3 as an organ because he'd already cut his tracks in another studio but he wanted to do some 12 string guitar parts. And I'm going, Greg, well, how, how, how do we do that? And he says, well, you got a screwdriver. And he took the back off of the B3, and inside of the B3 is this amplifier with this little RCA input jack, right? And he says, get me an, in, get me an RCA connector. He, he literally is on his knees, he's plugging it in, we get the 12 string up, he runs it through the B3 into the Leslie, and I was just blown away, you know. And what a sweetheart. We stayed up all night talking craft and all the stuff he'd done. It was a good vibe, it was a good vibe. And it was kind of ironic that we, we had Greg Allman, but we, we, did, we did guitar overdubs through a Leslie. It tells you the diversity that these particular, you know, instruments have. Of all the instrumentalists we work with, I have two favorite types. B3 players and grand piano players are so expressive. When you get a cat working the pedals, the draw bars, turning the tones up and down from real nice and mellow and sweet, like a hummingbird, right to, again, just like stinging solo tones, it doesn't get any better. This is an RT3 1957 Hammond organ. This was designed for churches, Corral. This came from a club in San Francisco. It was hardly used at all. They only use it like twice a year, Christmas and Easter, you know. And it's an amazing device. But what's more interesting is it has the bass pedals. And what makes the RT3 more interesting on a bass pedal level than the B3 is there's three or four extra bass pedal notes on this particular device over here. And so this particular device we had got as a gift and we are still rebuilding it. We still are using it. It needs a little work, but it's great, especially when we have to haul one B3 to B and we have to keep one down in C because it takes backs to move a B3. And by the way, I think Eddie said this also, if you're from out of town, there is a B3 here. Lastly, let's talk about Leslie's. So Leslie speakers are what we talked about on a guitar a content page today, but the Leslie and the B3 are married at the hip. They work integrated just perfectly with each other. And we own a 145, and for this Hammond B3 and this RT3, we have a 122, which is a taller device, not quite as rocky and grindy, more mellow and traditional. So there you go. Welcome to Organ Love.